DPT. Greetings, comrades. Welcome back to another episode of Battle Brothers. Carry on where we left off. Uh, so we'll sell all of our rubbish. Now, is there anything we could actually use to try and beef up our guys a bit? Because we need to stop and drop in like flies now. Uh, grab some more food. A bit of cheese. And is there anyone else to buy? Just hot I mean, he's got a... <laughs> Got a mace or something, so I'll leave him with that. Uh, there's no helmets or anything. I'll grab a shield. For Ottomar. This elderly gentleman. Oh, we've got some serious injuries, but we're going to spend a long time on the road, probably. Uh, so yeah, we'll go back up to Heldenburg. And fingers crossed by the time we get there, we'll heal up a lot. Maybe try and get another quest that pays well. And get our mass ton of gold. And then recruit some guys. Because they just die all the time. Oh, they're doing health wise. Oh, some, they're still really wounded. Missing finger. <laughs> Crikey. Some serious injuries, isn't that? Face leg muscles. They've all got like broken elbows. Injured kneecap. Ripped here. Oh, about to do some healing before we have to go out and do the quest. Not that there is one here. Anyone super, super cheap? Uh, oh, he's pretty cheap. Let's grab him. Any super cheap weapons? No. Ah, bludgeon. Let's grab bludgeon. <laughs> Such a cheap scare. You won't be smiling in a minute, pal. Right. Carry on. That's good in a way because it means it gives us more time to heal. It'd be good to get a quest. I guess we'll go to. Let's go to Hohenwacht, or whatever, however you pronounce it. Hohenwacht. Along the path, you come to a man being dangled upside down from the tree branch. A bunch of men are sitting around him sharing a goatskin flask, looking like they're at the end of a day, at the end of a day's hard work. When you ask what is going on, one of them looks up and smiles, whipping the spell until he's raw. You ask what for, another man answers. Fornicating with this fellow's wife. Man drinking spurts and jokes and he's drinking whites and stuff. Alrighty fucking horror. Very funny and no, all this scumbag was caught barking my dead horse. Well. That's an interesting uh, pastime. You know, each to their own. It takes all sorts to make a world. You walk over to the dangling man. There's blood running down his back, streaking from a dozen slashes. He's got a cloth covering his eyes, which you pull down. Blinking, he asks what does you want as though you're interrupting his own hiding. You ask him what they say is true, he spits and clears his throat. I mean, yeah, but the horse was dead. So what matter was it? Can't a man have his fun? The horse only gets up, brandishing a dripping whip. Oi, you want us to go back at it? We've got all day. Sighing, the dangled man asks you a question. You're a so-sword, right? Why don't I come and fight for you? I'm a strong and able-bodied man. A little horse, I mean, worse than there, but that's aside. And that uh, dead animal thing, I'm a man of outstanding moral sensibilities. Anton, you look like there's something on your mind. Anton steps forward and takes the horse owner's whip. He bends it and runs the leather through his hands. Nodding, he calls it a fine tool for a good whipping, so that the men were going about all the wrong way. He points at the wounds at the man's back. See these streaks? They're thin and barely open. Don't let that amount of blood fool you. These are superficial. Here, let me show you a good hiding. The flagrant drops the whip's strings, twirls them round for a moment and strikes. The hanging man cries out. Wound, open up. Wound opens and gapes from the tip of one rib, clear across his back to the tip of another. You can see the muscle and fat bubbling beneath. Anton strikes again and again and again, blood splashes the flagging as he works and the horse poker has long since passed out. Eventually one of the men gets to his feet and takes a whip back. That's enough. You fellas get on a go right park it now. The other man cuts the filthy fiddler down and tends to his new quite serious wounds. Anton wipes his brow and admires his handiwork. Hmm, that's how it's done. Yes, this is. I'm going to be honest with you. Would have rather had another guy. Even though, you know, he liked a bit of horse every now and again. I can put up with that. I'm sure we've come across many dead horses in our travels. It's no concern of mine, what he does in his spare time. Uh, I guess we'll camp till daytime. How long have we got? Uh, wow, well, no, I'll just camp till day. Should give our guys a chance to heal still, because it takes absolutely forever. Oh, well, this is a poor town. 
Poor town indeed. Sigmar. Oh man. I've got to have a guy named Sigmar. And he's getting some good gear as well. It's just the best name. See why is the things missing? Right. Who's got secondaries? I'm guessing none of these guys do actually. Why has this guy got us? Right, you can have that. I guess. And a knife. <laughs> well, that'll have to do for now. You can protect the back. Right. Anything to buy? Not that we have any money left? No? Okay, I guess we'll crack on and keep walking. See, it's annoying when you don't get any quests. It's very tedious. But to Vard. Vardé. Transit with an accident makes it a little posh. Ooh. Fight. Come back, brigands. No. Oh, they're running fast, then we always can't catch them. That's naft. I just want a little sport. Right, is so that this quest? A cow shaded man hisses at you, his teeth and nose winking momentarily from the dark of his hood. You've no time for lepers or jokers and demand the man get out of your way. So they start talking. My master requires your services. He has heard of your exploit. Follow me and I shall take you to him. He rests your hand on the handle of your sword and nod. A dog is snoring at the feet of Raymond the steward. He leans forward to gently pat the hound behind the ear. I hear you have a nose for fighting people, shall sword, for solving problem. You nod. It is true after all. Good, good. I have a task for you. A simple one. Something of great value to me has been stolen. My golden talisman. I need you to track down those who stole it, kill them, obviously, and then bring back the item. What's this worth to you? No, that's quite a bit. So we get any more? Sure, that'll do. This is going to be a bad one and we're definitely going to lose like 90% of our guys, but hey ho. Works work. And a man's got to eat. Oh man. I wonder if it's going to be a snow map. Come on, get there before now. I think it said there was nine. It's not too bad. Brigands don't tend to be that well armed, but I might be wrong here. They might have like machine guns or something. Okay. Let's wait till we get closer and then see what happens. Take it from there. Oh! Maybe I shouldn't have waited. <laughs> right. Let's keep waiting. See if we come forward. Yeah, they are doing. Right, that's good. See, they're poorly armed, but so are we, unfortunately. And that arrow was just one too many for poor old whatever his name was. I can't reach him yet, so I'll just skip this guy's turn. And I will spear wall him. I really want to take out those archers. Uh, skip his turn, skip his turn. Move forward and try and get one in here. Strike! Skip his turn. And we'll fire at this guy because I think I have the highest chance of hitting someone, but unfortunately that doesn't happen. Skip his turn. I'll bring him down one. Move him up one slightly. Uh, skip his turn for a second. Oh, come on. I don't actually know if I'm right in doing it this way, but never mind. Let's go for the front one and see what happens. Oh, there we go. That's better. Maybe we should have done that from the start, but. Uh, I'll just brace him. Skip his turn. I want him to move forward, you see? That's it. Miss. It's a bit annoying that they got first blood though. So yeah, what's going to happen is you they'll just circle the guys they can get to for the shield wall, but it's okay. A lot of these guys don't have shields, so I should be able to take them out fairly easy. I don't know why he's like crying. Is the same amount? Oh, now it's not. But yeah, actually the same amount engaged there as... And now it's not. Right. So now we move up. It's a bit rubbish attacking a guy with a shield that we don't really have any choice. That guy should have been easy to take out, but he wasn't. It's fine. Let's move him here. Oh. I guess the snow hinders your movement a lot. Uh... 
Oh, he's in there. Looks like weak in his resolve. Hack him up. See, really, he should have just been more down. Circle him a bit more. Oh, stunned me. Alright, let's hopefully try and take some of these boys out. Sort it. Oh. Come on, stab him. Kneel there. Shoot him. And I'm going to have to go for him because the others all have my guys blocking the shot, which I don't want. Let's move him up there. Try and get him to run off. Lucky that missed. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, quite luckily there, they're going for like my most well armed guy. Oh. Some of these guys are getting absolutely battered. I'm surprised they didn't even have any arms left. Maybe him. Oh man, this guy is like absolutely kick. Not much point attacking him, but. Quite lucky. Off with his head. Can I hit him? Can ah. Uh, can I hit him? I have to shoot him. No use really, but. Pop him in the head. Oh. I like to see their heads fly. I'm gonna move him around here, try and weaken his resolve. Unfortunately, it did not work, but I'm hoping I can finish this guy off before he finishes one of my guys off. Because this is like the best battle we've done so far. But we've still got a long way to go. Move him there. Come on, take him out. Can I get there? No. Don't kill him. No, oh, it's killed him. I just killed him. <laughs> Never mind, we were doing quite well. You know, going nowhere. You could have done that like the turn before, could you? Oh, this game's so hard when you can't like go back when you're really messed up. But, that's what it's really like, isn't it? Life of mercenary. Oh, come on, just get up. To stand next to you. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna move him out. Try and. Oh, man, this guy's really good at dodging. Hit him! He'll just run away now. I don't think we'll catch him. I really don't want that guy dying. Uh, yes. Well, finish him. Finish him! Can I reach him? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. That's okay. Two guys as well. Right, he's not going anywhere now. Let's pass with the rest of them because they're not going to get there in time. The kid is a little about. Come on then! Run them down. You're going nowhere. Okay, man. Right, we lost two. And one of them is pretty good, I think, as well. It's only been two battles, obviously, can't have been. Oh, I think he was like a... Oh man, he's one of the just didn't realise. Oh, he's not looking pretty. Not like he needed an arse. Wow, it's not Geary. I guess a lot of it's mine already, so I've just lost. After the battle, a man emerges from the like clapping his hands together. I paid those men a great deal of crowns, but it appears I should have paid you, and now that all the skeevy brigands are dead, I can. You tell the man to get to the point before you're running through with the sword, he gestures towards the artifact. I'll pay you 1,730 crowns for that item. It was originally owed to these thieves, plus a little more. What do you say? 
or you're paid to return it, and that's what we'll do. So you've got to be honest when you're a mercenary, because otherwise you won't get any jobs. And that's the last thing you want. Right. Sigmar, because he's going to be the best guy ever. He's going on our front line. He's going to have that and that. This guy can have... How much is, much is it better? Uh, that one, I guess. You can have that. Ooh, another good helmet. Who do we give that to? Oh man, this poor man, look at his face. And this guy. How can it permanently be broken? Surely we can just like let him fix it up or something. Give him back a knife. Just cut all the pickaxes. It's good. Add. Uh, close this line. I guess we'll move them like that. It's probably alright. Okay, and I guess we'll head back for our just desserts. Some of you might be thinking, oh my god, he didn't take the big money. Why didn't you take the big money? Because I want to be a reputable company. Well, I couldn't really use the big money. So let's, oh, let's learn from our mistakes and see if anyone will want to hire for miners. Not children, though, they're just adults. That have a job in a mine. Buy one of them. I'll sell this stuff. I'm gonna give him a lumberjack actor, actually. Uh, need some more fixing stuff, but expensive. Where is he? There he is. Let's give him that. Oh, we still have a short board, didn't we? Never mind. I'll give that to the next guy. I'll keep hold of it for now. Right. Let's go. No more jobs. No more jobs. Weaponsmith. Can't afford any of it. Which doesn't surprise me in the least. Right. Let's go to Phil's Moors. And hopefully heal up again. Because we're consistently injured. Went the wrong way there. Let's go, let's go. Should, should be able to get like a horse and cart or something so you can move faster. Or like give you guys horse and have cavalry charges. But then I suppose we couldn't have had the guy who liked to mount horses in the biblical sense. So it's probably a good thing we didn't buy any horses. I don't know if it was just because they were dead as well. Like maybe he only likes dead ones, which is even worse because we'd have bought them and either killed them and then done it. See what his job is? A hooded man gestures you to follow him. Nervously looking over his shoulder, he leads you to the back room of a local tavern before addressing you. He takes his time to peek out the windows, probably looking for anyone eavesdropping. A figurehead by the name of Oswald the Merchant wishes to see you. He's a man of some repute in this town, so you understand my discretion. He decides to paper towards you. There are directions written on it. I am all over. As you begin to take a seat, Oswald the Merchant throws a scroll at you and fails just as you catch it. You begin to read, but Oswald the Merchant starts in with the news anyway. Traders from Ehrlichburg have all agreed to no longer patronise criminals until our little brigand problem is done away with. The history of it is pretty simple, as I'm sure you're aware of the brigand's method. But these damn vagabonds have been harrying the roads, pillaging caravans and killing my chants. I know exactly where they are. I just need a man of guts in a need of glory or gold. He won't kill them. So what do you say, mercenary? Name a price and we can talk. Let's talk for money. 610? Can we get more? Can you pay me in advance? Okay, it's just 610. Let's accept that one. How far away is it? No, that's not too bad. Let's go, go gadget. Oh, dials. Please know. How are we looking health wise? Uh, some of our guys are slightly injured. I'm tempted to camp, but nah, let's just do it. Fight! Um, can we hit anyone? I'm gonna move him on there and wait for them to come to me, probably. Probably the best way to do it. If they do come to me, which they might not. No, they're just gonna take pot shots. Oh, what an air hole! Oh, I don't wanna go to them. Right, we'll go to them. Don't wanna move as far as we can every turn because that's how you wear you guys out. So we'll just move slow and steady. 
Oh, you put Thor in it. Because <laughs> he's one of the guys with, like millions of broken knees and stuff. Yeah, they'll have to move up though because my guys will uh, go for their archers otherwise, so. Uh, I'll move to that one. No, I won't. He can move to that one. No, he won't. Can I move him up here? Move him there, which is less than ideal. Oh man, throwing axes, please no. He means business. Fight! Up on there and shoot him. Good shot. Uh, I want to move him up on there first before shooting, really. So I can only hit that one guy, so I'll cycle him. Oh man, get out of here, USLB. Let's move him all the way around. A flanking attack. Yeah, see, they're pretty content to try and pick us off. But we are better armed than them, and we are more numerous, so it's just a case of getting to them. Oh, I wanted to be this guy first. How annoying. There's like no direct path here. Don't want to move him all the way up there. I want to be able to attack in the same turn. Err. He's going to have to go up here because there's loads of groups up that side. Err, uh, same again. No! Stop it! That's it. Take it on the shield. No, I still don't want it to be his turn. Right, you're going to have to move there. This guy's a numpty. I'm very surprised they're not moving up on us at all though. Slightly annoyed. So you've got the best. Ah, oh, nope. No luck. So <laughs> you can't hit him with 60% chance, but you can have a 28% chance and knack it down. Good one. Oh man. There's a lot of luck involved that guy because he's got very low probability of hitting people, he's still managing. Move up one. Nice and slow. Move him round. Oh man. Out the count. I'm going to move up to this guy. Get a flank on. I actually don't think they can. They'll have to come round, I think. So that's not too bad actually. Because these guys were well equipped ish. It's an interesting choice. I can push these guys up behind them and then hopefully push through once I've killed them. Don't you do it! Oh, injuries, big injuries. Oh man, I can't. Attack. This is a nightmare. Stop killing my guys. So yeah, we're kind of bottlenecked me. Why are they going to go first? It's ridiculous. Oh, he's going to die. No, don't you dare break. Wow, good shot. Try and kill this guy, so he's shield. That's it. Finish him. See, you can absolutely ransack before you even get a turn. I kill this guy because he's lightly armed. Oh, he's pretty badly injured. Yeah, I've got to go all the way around otherwise. Shouldn't have moved him. Oh, I wanted to push him back. No, man. No more shield, shield for you. Alright, forget him. He was knacking anyway, he had a bad knee or an elbow or something. So, good riddance. Oh, 
Oh, don't run off. Oh man, if he runs, he's absolutely toast. This is not going well. Could be the end of the line. How is he not dead? It's like 20 hits. Kill him. No, don't kill my guy. Kill him. Move him up. And try our luck. Nope. Oh, it's actually kind of good that. Oh, it's not. There's, there's no way if that guy runs, he's toast. I ain't gonna be toast anyway. Oh, yeah. See, this is what happens when you try to flee. Cowards. Don't flee, stop running. Oh man, he's dead because he just can't seem to wake up. Could be the end of the line, gents. And gentle ladies. These guys are lacking more. They're ridiculous. And my guys are just turning into massive pusses. They're all running away. Why are you running away? You're long range. You can just stay there. Right, you can't even do anything. That's good. Ooh. I like it. Come on, old man. Spin. Oh, off with his head. Oh, man. Wow, his head just got mushed. Absolutely shredded. It looks like we're going to pull through with this just. Got rid of all the chaff anyway. Stop running away! There we go, that's what we want. Oh. He's gonna have to have another spin to win. Stop surrounding my guy. Oh, it's just a head lying there. Can't get near enough. Right, come on. Oh, I can't. Uh, right, kill him. Oh, man. How are they doing this to me? I can't even fire because it's too far away. And he's still legging it. Well, someone obviously lost the go dance. Why is he running away? How odd. Let's at least the surround on them. Wow. Just wow. I'll be very surprised if we manage to pull this off at this rate. We have lost like all of our guys. Wait. I wanna kill him to try and just leave it 2v1. Because their mate ran off. Oh, no way. Come on, finish him. Never retreat, never surrender, never back down. Come on, kill him. Don't even got any armor. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Don't run, it's got a knife. Oh, finally. Oh, I can even kill these guys at this rate. Wow, just wow. Right, let's try and run them down as best we can. Can't hit him from there, that's annoying. Can I hit him? Nope. Can't do anything. I'm surprised he's running off. This is going to be interesting to see how many people we actually have left because I have a feeling it's not going to be many that survive this. This is like more of a slaughter than the first one. 
Maybe it's a good thing that he's running away. Come back. Please come back. Oh, and he's died as well. <laughs> well, this should be interesting. Seeing if we can bring this back. Somehow I don't think we can. Only four people died. That's not too bad. Sub Wendell died. Gisbert. Sigmar did die. I'm just going to put it out there. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. See, Sigma did die. Although I didn't think it, I do think he ran away. Well, we got a lot of stuff from that. We can at least arm our guys up. Right, head back to Phil Moves. How awkward, but it. Uh, equip these guys. At least the guys we have left, we can uh, get out pretty well. I say that, but maybe not that well. He can have an axe instead of that. Me thinks. Uh, not slightly better. By like a very small margin, and not slightly better as well. Wow. Wow, oh wow. There are not many of these boys left. Perks. He didn't have that one, so I'll get that. And I don't know why I keep doing that. Never mind. Let's cancel that. Go back. We don't want any more points in melee, he's got pretty high melee. Maybe we should swap it over. Now we're a bit shorter than chaps. Uh, uh, man lives again. He can have... Have that because you'll probably end up with really heavy gear eventually. Ooh, that's what I call casualties. Oh, hell on hammer. Why are they also wanting to be archers? It's probably because they'll get absolutely massacred on the front line. Like, please, no more. I don't want to fight anymore. Coward. Yeah, it's pretty good actually for an archer because it means you can get him out of trouble sometimes. Okay, and I like Oh wow, well, they've all got very bad morale. That is not good. I don't know if they like rebel or if it just affects their ability to fight. Right, so we'll leave it there for now. And thanks for watching.